howdy diddly doodly dandy there chums as I Captain Steve and I am standing in water yeah I'm going to be doing a little tad bit of fishing and hopefully going to catch myself a little fishy come to Steve little fishy heck yes so I'm using the river law that got sent to my little box at camp for nothing I didn't do anything to earn it it just arrived which is excellent eh and oh I've got a fish on said line and I'm reeling the devil in now I find if my pad vibrates I stop reeling and I start pulling on the rod left to right and um, yeah and then as soon as it stops vibrating I start uh, reeling again and it's as simple as that really sometimes if it's not actually vibrating at all I might pull and reel at the same time and cover a little bit of ground like that message at the top of the screen keeps sort of suggesting that I do so yeah you it's fairly easy to do fishing and the amount of money that you make from fishing is fairly lucrative so this is actually a pike I believe I've got on the line now which is a big fisherman fish fish and yet it puts up a little bit of a fight and it does take me a little long a little longer than a smaller fish to bank but that's that's kind of the the, the, the you know the crux of it isn't it if you go for small tiddlers they can catch loads oh and also these big fish take up a whole freaking slot on your horse you know so you it's about the size of a freaking deer and um, so yeah yeah you might be better to just go for the ones you can stuff in your pockets you know and just get a load of them rather than a, a big fish but anyway I catch two of these giant river pike I put one on the back of my horse and the other one I carry to town okay so I've got it near to the bank now here we go yeah all this hard work is gonna pay off I'm gonna have myself a fish that I can wrap in like brown paper or something come on come on you know you want to Come on, you're my fishy. You're my little fishy. I got you. Ha ha. Excellent, eh? And come on, any second now. Ah, my days. He's still got fight left in him. Little git. Look at him go. That's it. I've got you now. You're mine. Heck yes. Get here, you beauty. Look at the size of this fish. That's the biggest fish I've caught so far, chums. I'm well chuffed with that. That is a beauty. Heck yes, I'm keeping that. 19 pounds of pure fishiness. Lovely jubbly. Now where's my freaking horse? Okay, my horse is freaking miles away. Okay, well, um, yeah, I'm going to chuck this on the back of the horse, and then I'm going to catch another one. I didn't realise that you couldn't put two on there. It looked like you could easily get two on there, you know. It, I don't know why you couldn't tie one either side of the horse or something. It's a freaking fish. It, it's not the size of a deer or anything, isn't it? Now, 20 pounds is fairly heavy, though, isn't it? You know, that's what... That, that is, that's pretty damn heavy. That's a lot of bags of sugar. Anyway, so there we go. Let's uh, get, take this over there. So I'm bringing my horse with me. I keep whistling, bringing my horse along as well, so I can sell this fish. And I've got a little, little fish in my pockets that I can sell as well. I must think to freaking high heaven. But I did notice there is another player. Now, there was a little blue dot watching me coming over and he, he doesn't he looks a very shifty sort the guy so I thought I'd, I'd sell all my fish as quick as I could because I was worried about the fish on the back of my horse he could nick it he could also try and get into the uh, pouches because the horse is following behind me and I know that people do like to rob your horse pouches if you leave it unattended for too long so I sat up to the butcher fully aware that this the complete scoundrel may be lurking behind me somewhere and yeah, so oh my god, look at the amount of blood on the guy's face. You'd think he'd just use a bucket. Oh, there, he, there this is the guy. There he is. Look at him. He, he, he just smoked a fag. So I think he's just got his dead eye back. So I think he's he's planning something. I just don't know what. He's got his knife out. I, I have no idea what's going. And then he tackles me to the ground. I think he was considering killing me. So yeah, I punch him. I knock him back. And uh, yeah. He runs over to my horse and and then legs it off on his own. He, he didn't actually rob my horse, which is good. But yeah, left me feeling a bit bewildered. I was like, what the fudge was that all about? Pick up my hat. And I'm thinking, you know what? You're not getting away with that. No, no, you're not getting away with that. So I get on my horse and I go find the guy. And I just find him sort of over here just doing nothing. I'm not too sure what he's freaking doing. But he, he's, again, he's acting freaking weird. He comes running up behind my horse and he's trying to rub the pouches while I'm on my freaking horse. So I pull out my pistol, but he's too close to me for me to do anything. So I get off my horse. <laughs> this is just a mess, isn't it? And uh, there we go. Now he's interested in my pouches. More so than me holding a gun. So I just, I just shoot him. A oh, he, I think he's got my pike. Yeah, I think he tried to... Yeah, I didn't actually sell my second pike. That's annoying. I didn't realise that. Git bag! Watching this back, I've just noticed I didn't sell one of my pikes. 
you freaking git. That's what he was after. You have that in the freaking head. Yeah, I'm going to stab the shite out of your skull. How do you like them freaking apples, my friend? That's for being a complete cock burn. Okay. Uh, oh, he's respawned. That was freaking quick. And he got me. <sighs> what the fudge? Well, he's probably after my pike. He's probably got my pike now and probably gone and sold it to the butcher and he's probably laughing all the way to the freaking bank. There he is there, but I'm not quick enough to get a shot off on him. For some reason, my gun wasn't automatically loaded. And by the time I did load, he had got out of sight. So I figure, right, I'm going to go hunt this little scallywag down. So I, I, I run over here. I'm thinking, OK, right, he's on a horse. I probably would be better off on my horse. But I've got him again in my sights. I managed to get a shot off, but... No, didn't actually didn't actually connect, which is a bit of a shitter. So it just served as a warning shot. But he, he's on his way. What a little scamp! I mean, you get people that are very sort of scampy-ish inside this uh, this playthrough. Sadly, people, and uh, yeah, you, you try to just have a little leisurely uh, day fishing, and then this sort of stuff happens. Right, right little um, set too, isn't it? So anyway, I figure, well, do I need to get him again? You know, he's. Knocked me to the floor. I've killed him. He's killed me. Surely we're even. No. No, no, no. He deserves one more death. He started this shite, so I'm going to finish it. So let's um, let's go find the guy. So he's over this way. I can see the red dot on my little mini-map over in the left-hand corner there. It's just through these trees. Now, I find if you don't actually steer your horse, you just press the run button, the horse dodges all the trees for you, which is a nice little trick. There he is. Kapow, kapow, kapow. You're dead. Heck yes. Right, now he respawns really quick, so sod stabbing the hell out of him this time. And I'm just going to ride like the freaking wind and get out of here. So I get the last say. Ha! You! You, you fish nicker! Right, so let's uh, ride all the way over here. Now, I did see that there was a bridge on the map. So I think if I ride across the bridge, that's going to act like a bottleneck. So if he does try to follow me, I'll have the upper ground, because there's just that one sort of line of fire. And I've got a decent rifle, so yeah. Good luck to him. So let's head on over to that bridge. Let's get across that bridge as quickly as I can. Because I can see his red dot on my minimap, and it does look like he's pursuing. So, yep. Yeah. And I was too busy looking at the minimap, and I run horsey man horsey into a freaking post. I'm sorry, horsey man horsey. Come on, get up. You know, you're, you know, you're fine. You're just stunned. I hope he's okay. <laughs> there you go. And we're on our way to Armadillo. Na, 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 na. And all the other words. Yeah, right, so let's just um, camp out here. And let's see if we can get him to come across this bridge. I can see the red dot, but I, I think he's actually given up. I don't think he's going to come for me, chums. I think we're good. I think he's probably found something else to get him distracted, some shiny object or something. He's probably gone after that. So I think we're all good. So that's pretty much my relaxing day fishing. Yeah, I only sold one of my fish by the looks of things I, I swear I sold both to the butcher uh, unless what I sold him was one of those pickerels that looks like a pike but smaller who knows but it was on, there was definitely one still on the back of my horse so that's just really bizarre I have no idea what's going on there chums totally miffed and yeah so there I am pretending to be a bush for an extra long time then I wanted to do some emotes but every time I pressed L2 I pulled out a different freaking weapon so yeah so there you go now I want to do L2 and I want to bring up my thumb and give you a nice little dance or something but now I've got a freaking pistol in my hand and I can't do L2 so I put that away and then end up with my rifle in my hand what the fudge is going on why is it just doing quick swaps to different weapons every time I press L2? Okay, yeah, well, there's a nice bit of shadow there. Let's, let's get some shade. Let's stop that sun from burning that beautiful skin of mine. I didn't even mean to do that. You know, I'm trying to do a freaking emote. <laughs> An emote of all things. It's not the hardest thing in game. But anyway... You're just going to have to pretend that I'm doing an emote because I, I tried my best <laughs> and I just couldn't pull off an emote, which is just holding down L2. So I figured I get on my horse. We're trying to we're try an emote on the horse. So yeah, press L2. No, I've got a freaking pistol in my hand. Press L2 again. I end up with a rifle. Story of my life. Anyway, you guys, goodbye and thank you for watching. Um, me taking a leisurely little fish. A fisherman fish fish. Yeah, so hopefully I'll see you again soon. Take care for now. Goodbye all. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. There are multiple ways to support my channel, Patreon being one of those. Those are all my Patreon backers thanking you, Patreon backers, heck yes, and I also have YouTube membership. Now, there are different tiers on Patreon and YouTube membership. Be sure to check both out before making a decision. Or if you prefer merch, head on over to Teespring, grab yourself a gnarly mug or a t-shirt or something else, heck yes. 
or hit a like or subscribe or that notification bell or leave a comment. I love reading comments. Well, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Hit one of these tiles on the screen. Stay with Captain Stephen X so that a little bit longer. Thanking you.